In this video, I met up with an INFP and an ENFJ and got them to describe each other. So watch how the ENFJ perceives and experiences the INFP personality type and look to notice how the INFP describes the ENFJ. Hey, sorry, my name is Eric and I'm a YouTuber. I was just wondering if I could ask you two some questions. Yeah, yeah, no, with, yeah. with questions, yeah. Cool, so first of all, uh, how would you two describe each other? It's like if you would start with, how would you describe her? Fatma <laughs> <laughs> is really like an inside person. She's really like loving and caring. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, what else? Yeah, that's it, yeah. And what about you? How would you describe her? <laughs> she's the same, like she cares a lot about me. But then she's like more open than me. I'm an introvert, she's a little bit an extrovert. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I was gonna ask, that was my second question. So, you get more energy from being by yourself yeah. and you get more energy from being with other people? No, because I'm not fully extrovert. I like a half half. Yeah. So, I have to have like time for myself too. Yeah. Yes. And, and uh, would you say that uh, of the two of you, who is the more creative person, the more imaginative person? I think we both, both are. Yeah, yeah you're both more. In, yeah. yeah. And uh, would you say that uh, you're people that like to talk about like uh, all kinds of subjects like philosophy, yes. politics, so psychology? Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, yes. <laughs> yeah. And what about taking practical action, like actually doing stuff? Like, uh, do you enjoy doing that or do you prefer? <laughs> I enjoy doing that and I have to drag her. That's uh. true. <laughs> <laughs> I like to, but then like. I'm a little bit lazy in these yes. parts. <laughs> right. Notice how they were vibing with each other. It's how they just immediately could follow along in each other's thoughts and how the things that INFP said inspired the things that ENFJ said afterwards. These two types were so in sync and uh, they were so able to match each other's that you can tell that they feed on each other's in a sense. They feed on the things that each other's do and uh, they take value from it and it helps both of them energize and stay positive and stay excited about life. Yeah. And uh, when you two make decisions, like, do you make decisions more based on vibes, like uh, emotions, feelings, or do you like to think sometimes, about things logically? Sometimes. Depends, depends on, on what. The thing. Like, yeah. yeah. Depends on that. Sometimes we can be like really like into thinking, and yeah. then sometimes we are like, no, we feel this, we feel and that, then we let's go. do it. Yeah. 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 Right. Depends on if there's like an issue that I don't know, maybe a work related, or maybe like just hanging out, then it's different. Yeah. So like at work and stuff like that. What what is more motivating to you two? Like uh, achievement, success, like uh, uh, getting things done, or more uh, ma making good friends, making cool connections. I think it's like For a lot. Everything. Yeah. Is it, everything. Because you cannot be like only one thing I think you have to like, have like a good vibe and then you have to be like uh, doing something that you think that is like uh, you good you have to do perform yeah. well in it it's your task you have to be but really it, good in it but it means something I mean like for me not only for the company yes. but also for me yeah like, achieving my goal that you are at least learning something yeah. you're not just doing nothing like or just doing like the plain thing so then yeah so it sounds like uh, uh, that you two would say that uh, the values, like making people happy, like yeah. those things are the most important, but yeah. you still feel like it's important to be accomplished and get things yes. done yes. and yes. so on. Uh, so it's more like a tool for you, like in mm -hmm. a sense, like for to make uh, uh, the world a better place, to make people happy, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you have to start with yourself too. You yeah. Know, you cannot help other people if you are not happy with yourself. So yeah. I think it's the most important part too. <laughs> I have one last question, and that yes. is, uh, are f of the two of you, who is more easygoing and more go with the flow, and who is more? She is definitely more easygoing. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you prefer to have a plan then? In the plan, in what sense? Like uh, knowing what's gonna happen, like making sure, like uh, that there's an or no, organization. Like so yeah, I like that too. That's so yeah. important for me. But like yeah. with anything, if something pops up. Okay, that's the situation that we have to, yeah, to deal with. Go, like, yeah. Yeah, go with the flow. Oh, so in practice, it's uh, in the sense that you like to be the one that plans things. And but then uh, if something yeah, happens, then it's okay. Yeah, and you are more the person that uh, then uh, likes to improvise in a situation. And yeah. Okay, okay, that's really cool. So you are the introverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving type, and you are the ENFJ. Uh, so the extroverted, intuitive, feeling, and judging type. No. Yeah. <laughs> I am really judging, <laughs> so yes. <laughs> to kind of confirm a little bit, uh, um, if you are an ENFJ, uh, you would be very interpersonally oriented. You care a lot about people, you'd be very much about communication. Yeah, she is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
And um, uh, if you are an INFP, uh, you would be more of an introspective person. You like to analyze people. You like to think about emotions, like why. Everything, all the aspects. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what would you two say you value most about your friendship? Everything. Yeah. I love uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think like because we respect each other, and then it's really, really nice because she can understand myself and respect that that I can do the same for her, and yeah. I think this is quite like nice for. I don't know, a friendship, you yeah, know, and then we true. care about each other and we listen to each other, so it's nice. Yeah. yeah, I often hear that extroverts tend to find introverts very relaxing company, like in a <laughs> sense. Uh, um, this is really true because we don't get like that tower with each other and then some people are like too noisy and then they're like, no, we have yeah. to chill. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, introverts tend to like extroverts because they get us out of our shells in a bit, make yeah. uh, get us yeah, out of our comfort zone. Take yeah. me with you, <laughs> and grab me and take me. That's true. After asking them uh, their questions and leaving, I heard them talking to each other and I heard them say, that was so nice. <laughs> they really valued talking to me and I think they thought it was really cool. Uh, so yeah, I think that's just proof of how important and how valuable the Myers-Briggs type indicator can be when we use it correctly and in a positive way to help and support each other. Do you know any INFPs or ENFJs and how do you experience this interaction? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below.